Hey guys, Golf Nerd here. I see a lot of folks online asking about how to pick the right projector for their sim setup. Now, I'm no expert on this topic, but I did learn a few things as I set up this simulator, and I want to go through the process of answering some of the questions that I see asked so many times. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through some of the decisions that you have to make with regards to the projector for your specific setup, and then I'm going to walk you through how to use an online calculator so you can see exactly how does that set up in your system. So stay with me and we're going to go through all that and hopefully I'll answer all of your questions. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to Google and go to Projector Central or you can just type in projectorcentral.com. They have a really great calculator which we're going to go to. So go to the throw calculator. What's great about this calculator is you can search by projector and it will determine all of the distances associated with the specific projector you're looking at. At this point, we're faced with our first decision. So there's two schools of thought when it comes to picking a projector. One is you want the projector either above the golfer or in front of the golfer or above the golfer or behind the golfer. So I'm going to go through two scenarios with two very popular projectors to show you the differences in both of those. So first up, we're going to go to the Optoma GT1090 HDR. And what you can see here is all of the data specific to the uh, 1090. So you see it listed up here. All the details down below are specific for this uh, projector. So first thing first, standard lens shows a throw ratio of 0.5. And that means that for every foot of width, you will be half a foot of throw distance away from the screen. So um, that's the throw ratio. Next is the aspect ratio. Leave that at 16.9. Uh, image size. So I'm going to change this to 96 inches of height, which is pretty common height for a lot of folks. Um, so that, that would be an eight foot height. Uh, one thing that you want to keep in mind is you can pick height, width, or diagonal, but I'd strongly recommend you do these calculations around height. Most people can't accommodate a true aspect ratio of 16, nine, and they're going to sacrifice some width, but you can adjust the width via a custom resolution, which I'll cover in a separate video. So last thing we're going to choose is ceiling mount. And this shows the relative distance of the uh, center line of the lens of the projector relative to the top of the screen. And it's showing minus 14 inches. So you could mount this uh, for like zero keystone adjustment if you mounted it at that height. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily need a keystone adjustment, but remember there is a keystone adjustment available. So you could have it mounted higher and then just, uh, adjust the keystone appropriately to fill up the screen. So now that we've gone through all that, you could see the throw distance is seven foot. So again, seven foot, one inch. And again, this width is 171 inches based on a 16, nine aspect ratio and a height of 96 inches. Um, so essentially the throw distance for this is half the height. Okay. And this at seven foot is going to be above or in front of the golfer. In most instances, most of the time people are hitting from eight to 10 feet away from the screen. And this would be seven foot from the screen. So again, either slightly above or slightly in front of the golfer. So now let's look at a different example. Next, I'm going to look at the projector that I went with and I went with this projector mainly because I wanted a 4k projector that was within my budget. And that's what this particular projector does. So it's the BenQ TK 700 STI. Um, now you look at standard lens, it has a throw ratio from 0.9 to 1.08. Uh, so it's basically a one to one, but it has the option of a manual zoom that allows you to change that throw ratio slightly. We're going to maintain the aspect ratio of 16, nine. I'm going to change the 
image size to 96 inches of height again to make everything the same. Um, I'm going to change it to ceiling mount. And now uh, you see the throw distance is 14 feet. So it's essentially one foot for every one foot of screen width. Um, now, in my situation, I changed this and I used uh, pretty much the max zoom and I've got it right around that 13 foot mark. And I'm hitting the ball from about 11 and a half feet from the screen. Uh, so it's slightly behind the golfer. Uh, and in this way, you can, whatever projector you're looking at, you can load it into this calculator and you can see how does it fit the space that I'm setting up my simulator in. Uh, hopefully this answers questions about how to uh, pick the right projector and um, how would you set that system up. Now the other thing that's really important, and it shows you this down below and it would for every different one that you load up into the calculator, is this brightness. So Projector Central gives an estimate on what they believe the brightness is. And then there's the manufacturer spec. The manufacturer spec is always a little bit more optimistic, I would say. Um, but it, it's important to keep in mind the amount of lumens. The ultimately brighter is better because the brighter the projector, the more ambient light it can overcome. Um, but you know, everybody's situation is different. Usually brighter projectors are going to be a little bit more expensive as well. So, you know, everything just kind of balances out in terms of what your needs are, what your budget is, etc. So guys, as you can see, there's just really a few questions that you have to be able to answer. And once you figure out exactly what you want your setup to, to be like, then you can go onto this website, go through all the calculations, have a pretty good idea of how to set it up. Now, it's not going to be exact, like I said during the video, but you'll have a pretty good idea and a good starting place so that once you're putting the final touches on your setup, you know, you can be pretty close before you ever start to uh, actually mount the projector. So hopefully this has answered your questions. If it hasn't, please leave me a comment or a question below. I always get back to everybody that, that responds to my videos, so I very much appreciate that. If you got some value out of this, please hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. And also, please consider subscribing. This is the type of content that I'm going to be diving into, and I want to try to help as many people as I can. And if you're subscribed, you'll know when I come out with new material. Well, that's it for the golf nerd. Hit them long and straight, and I'll see you next time.